This is what I love about Southern Indian coast. You get delicious fish with masala. What a bargain. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Kochi, Kerala, India. I am so excited because today I'm traveling over to Fort Kochi, right over there. If you guys don't know what Fort Kochi is, that is where the city was founded in the early 1500s by the Portuguese. There's a lot of Portuguese and Dutch historical buildings, churches, really, really good food. And the way to get there is by taking a ferry. You can also get there by car, but it takes a little longer because you have to go around the whole area. And we have to get in the car right now. How are you? Very good. Excited. So we are going by ferry with the car to the Fort Kochi. To the great Fort Kochi. I love this place actually. Fort Kochi, I like it so much. 65 rupees for the ticket, for the car. Guys, we're here. We're in Fort Kochi. It took us literally like three minutes to cross by ferry. Man, the ferry is jam-packed. Lots of cars, tuk-tuks, people, bikers. Look at this. Oh my god. Dude, that was so fast. No. It's quick. It's quick. If you want to come to the other way, it will take more than four to five minutes. Maybe around four to five minutes. At least peak time, more than four to five minutes. And this is Fort Kochi. As you can see, it feels like a European town in the tropics. Really, really beautiful. Similar to a lot of places I've been to in the Caribbean, which mm -hmm. are founded by like the Brits or the Spanish. Mm -hmm. Beautiful architecture, short, small buildings. The one thing you'll feel right when you get here is the fish smell, the fishy smell, because over here to the right, we have the Arabian Sea, right? Yeah. And there we have fishing nets, lots of fishermen. Here we have some vendors. Here we go. Chinese fishing, that's swung over here. As soon as we got out of the vehicle, we crossed like a mini park area with some vendors selling hats and stuff. And then we made it here to the beach. And this is like a fisherman's beach. It's not the actual beach. The beach is on the other side. Over here, we have fishermen pulling in their casting nets. They have fish, prawns, crabs, lots of birds around trying to like scavenge some stuff. And then you also have fishermen in the water fishing. Over here to the left, we have like a dozen piers with Chinese fishing nets. As you can see, these are Chinese fishing nets. They are giant. And what they do here is they drop them in the water and fish, right? You can do it for 500 rupees if you want to. I think we're good. We're really hungry. Evan, yep. what are we doing? Where are we going? We will go from here. I am also hungry. We will go for our breakfast. There are a few cafes here. We'll try one of them. So have you been here many times? Many times. I love this place. Not the fishing net. I love the beach. I love this architecture. Uh, as you said, it has a touch of European architecture. So you can't just go on any of these piers. You have to ask for permission from the fishermen, obviously. We asked, he said, yeah, no problem. And, uh, whoa, gotta be careful though. It's really uneven. It's just a lot of wood just spread around. Thank you. Okay, Thank sir. you. Okay, sir. Thank you. We'll see you later, okay? Come back, sir. Yeah. Okay. This is like really authentic though, right? I mean, <clears throat> it's the most authentic thing you can do here, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, what to see. They've been doing this for how long? Five centuries. I didn't know how big it was, but there's so many other vendors here. Here we have some guys selling a bunch of crafts, like elephant masks. And over here we have more fishermen, more and more. I mean, if you really want to buy some stuff, definitely come out to this area. Lots of vendors. And this guy's selling watches. What's up, man? I'm good, dude. I'm good. This is a snake chamber, cobra flutes. This is calabasa. It's very natural thing. This is no broking, hand making. Very, very small price, no big price. David, this is a fish market. If you need, you can buy some fish from here. You can ask somebody to cook it and you can eat from here itself. Not in the market, you can sit somewhere there and eat. This is prawns, prawns. This is red snapper and the kingfish tuna. And these are the pearl spots. You can see them. They are the pearl spots. Amazing. Gruber, that's barracuda, I think, over there. And then over there, I see some huge fish. Look at this. So basically, that's how it works, right? You buy the fish, yeah. you either take it home or go to a restaurant and they cook it for you yeah. for a little price, right? Yeah. David, they're auctioning up here. 
uh, fish is coming here, they will auction it off to different people. If you want to buy, you can buy a basket full of fish and go. Yeah, I just went in there and I couldn't understand anything, but he's like, you know, you, 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 finally somebody won, you know, he, he got the highest bid and then he took all his fish and actually that was shrimp right there. He also had fish across from it. So I mean, a huge variety of seafood here, over here, I don't know what this is, but it looks delicious. I'm getting too hungry, let's go eat. Yeah. Before we head to breakfast, we're stopping here to see St. Francis' Church, one of the oldest churches in India. It was actually founded the same year that Fort Kochi was founded, 1503. The reason why it's so famous is because Vasu da Gama, the Portuguese explorer, came here for his third visit to India and died in the year 1524 and his remains were buried inside the church. Twelve years later, they moved the remains back to Lisbon and that's why they also call it Vasu da Gama Church. And it was renovated in the year 1779, it says it right there at the entrance. Amazing church. It's good. David, we are passing by the Dutch cemetery, one of the oldest European cemetery in India. So you can have a glimpse of that and we go ahead. For breakfast, we're going to Kashi Art Cafe. It's one of the best places here to eat breakfast. I am starving. He's saying the food is super, super good. We are going to have cafe food. It's not like Kerala food. It's like uh, continental food, British, European. Yeah. As soon as you walk into the Kashi Art Cafe, as you can see, it's a cafe with art. Basically, there's a gallery at the beginning, lots of different paintings. You keep walking and they have like, not the bar area, but like basically where they serve the drinks. So they have coffee, fruit drinks. You keep walking and then it becomes an open air cafe. So the restaurant area is the very end, like the tables, dining area. And we're sitting at the very, very end. All the tables have coconut wood. You have more art pieces all throughout the cafe. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go with the John Abraham omelet. And John Abraham is an actor here. John Abraham is a Bollywood actor and this is the guy. Insane. Smart and handsome. And hopefully the breakfast will be smart and handsome too. So my eggs are basically coming with mushrooms, sunflower seeds, sun-dried tomatoes, pesto. Oh, this sounds amazing. It looks really, really yummy. They also have homemade granola, poached eggs or avocado, homemade appam and vegetable stew. Tons of different things, and they also have delicious coffee in southern India. Coffee is king, more than chai. You know, in Karnataka they have like filtered coffee, but today I'm getting something that's very similar to pressed coffee. I'm very excited. Banana pancake, that's what I'm going to try. First time here, okay? First time in this place. This guy's all about the dosas, so he had to go with pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> And here we have a Bollywood actor in an omelet, John Abraham. It looks delicious, really big omelet. Under we have some toast, and on the sides I think we have some chutneys. It looks like fish chutney, or like a, like a pickle, right? And over here we have the French press. So how do you do French press? Very easy. The very bottom, then. The coffee comes with milk and sugar. I don't do either of those, so I'm going straight black coffee. Mm. Oh, it's good, really good. Mm. Super dark. You know, you can really tell if coffee's good if you have it without sugar, and it's still like a little sweet. That's how you know it's like really nice coffee. It's gonna give me a jaw of energy. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Let's jump on this John Abraham. Whoa, look at this, overload. So many delicious things, vegetables in there, mushrooms. So, cut some of this, maybe with some toast. Mm. You know it's eggs, but it still has a little bit of that Indian taste to it. A little bit of spice in there. Mmm, the sides, you get this, this chutney. No, that's pickles right there. Mmm. Oh, it's good, it's a big, big omelet. Oh, I like the bread too. This is exactly what I needed, man. I haven't had eggs like this in a while. I was in meeting India, I'm eating only Indian food. So this is very different, but obviously we're in the colonial area. You have to eat like more like a European type of breakfast. I love the sun-dried tomato inside, mixed with the nice omelet. And the thing about this omelet is, is that this is egg whites, no yolk here. Mm. I'll say it's my favorite omelet in India. John Abraham. Maple sauce with pancake and banana. Beautiful. Similar to appam, plain appam. Hello, hello. Hello. Slovakia. Slovakia. And <laughs> yeah, what I love about the omelet is that it's very light. 
Like I'm not getting too full. We're eating a lot today, so I have to keep it light. It's like the flavors of India with a European twist. This coffee's really good. Really strong, still hot. I'm gonna try some ginger tea with honey. This is the best thing for your throat. My throat's been a little raspy lately. Oh wow, it's like pure ginger, man. The honey gives it a little sweetness. Let me mix a little more. Dude, this is unreal. I haven't had this before. Pretty good. No, no, really good. Total price for the breakfast was $7.70, which is basically like almost $11. And now we're gonna go do something really special. You wanted to have a mask? We'll try. We'll try to get one mask for you. Ah! I mean, I really wanted to get the mask of the traditional green face from what? what is it? Katagali. 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 David, for the mask, we are going to the Jew town. There is a synagogue also there, Jewish synagogue. Possible we will visit the synagogue. If it's Saturday, synagogue is closed but uh, for the guests. But now, today is Thursday, we'll try to visit. To get to Jewtown, it takes like 15 minutes on this straight road. The problem with this road is that there's so many traffic stops and a lot of people just stopping in the middle of the road to like, you know, take out goods, get goods, and right here, it's a market space. And because that small vehicle is very wide, we don't fit, so we're stuck. Small vehicle is so wide in a small, narrow road. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this? Chili? Yeah, dry chili. Wow. So grinding and for packing. Can I try? Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> it's a little uh, spicy. Spicy. That's not bad. After maybe after five minutes you get the. <laughs> no, it's hot. It's hot. No, no way, dude. No way. That's what. That's what. It's hot. So it's all chilies. All chilies. All chilies. All chilies. This is uh, spicy and that's non spicy. Non spicy. Non spicy. Yeah. Amazing. You guys are packing it up, sending it out? Yeah, and for grinding. And for grinding? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Now move the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's so tight here. Another one. Oh, man. So this road is too narrow and the cars are way too wide. So we're crossing through Jewtown now, and as you can see, it's one main street, lots of craft vendors everywhere. Masks, Buddha, elephants, they have also textiles. You have so many different historical buildings in this area, and what I suggest is when you get here, leave your car somewhere and get a tuk-tuk to go throughout. That's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna try to find parking, it's really difficult. I mean, this is like a European settlement, right? So everything is very, very narrow roads. And here, we're gonna park right here and go walk around. Don't ask me all the names. Some of them I know. This is an, obviously cinnamon. I don't know the English name. I don't know. So we have spices. Right across the street we have a lot of arts and crafts. Lots of handicrafts right here. The cows of Ganesha. We're gonna walk in here. You get this fragrance of spices. Can you enjoy? These are a lot of different spices you can buy from here if you are interested. Cinnamon. What's this? This one is a medicinal seed which is used for massaging. Do not know the English name. And this, and this is Rudraksha. Okay. Different styles of Rudrakshas are there. The reason why there's so many craft vendors, spice vendors, textile vendors here is because obviously it's a very, very big touristic give me, give me. destination. This is... Oh, whoa, what is this? This is for perfumes, fragrant oils, like that. You can have a look at this. So these are all oils right here? This is a pure flower exciting oil. Pure flower. Yeah. Wow. This is rose, white rose. This is Oh wow. That is rose, white rose. Oh, the aroma is amazing. Yeah, no white rose. I, I personally love rose like like water. Water. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. We have one good uh, red rose. This is a red rose. So red rose. Let me try the other hand. I like the white one. Yeah, white one is mild. mild. Black one is slightly strong. And so you sell it small? Yeah, we are selling like small bottle, like uh, 12 of bottles. Okay, how much for this one, for the white one? Uh, 600 for 12 mil. So 600, so it's basically, what is that? Uh, like 9 US dollars for 12 milliliters, sorry, 12 milliliters. 
Don't really it's, uh, it's a lowest price. In, is India is the natural is the cheapest price. Yeah? Wow. So compared with the abroad, it's very expensive. This one's very nice. And which is this one? This is a uh, Arabic alto. It's called Sohud. Arab alto. Oh, yeah. alto. So these are all blended natural oils. Yeah, this is blended. This is pure version. This is blender version. So this is like real perfume. Yeah. This, like, is, this is natural, is... real natural perfume. So you put every day, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can smell him. Come here, come here. It smells good. <laughs> sandalwood. 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 This is sandalwood oil. Smell of sandal as well as that blend, that flavor, that, that blend aroma is coming. Yeah. It's peach. Yes, the real smell of peach fruit. <laughs> it's nice. almost uh, uh, oils we are doing with steam distillation. That's incredible. <laughs> That's like the best coffee ever. <laughs> can I drink it? <laughs> no, no, I can't drink. <laughs> this is White Lotus. I'm looking for something for my wife. I'm looking for obviously something for a female. So let's see. White Lotus. That was too light though. Yeah. yeah. That was too light. too light. Maybe there was something stronger. So I decided to take Pink Lotus for my wife. It smells really nice. I think this is perfect for a female. Look. Wow, it's a lotus flower right there. So pure. And it's 600 for 600 rupees for 12 milliliters. I think it's a great gift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaskar. See you. Again. See you. Bye. Buy some oils right here. I have a lot of family members. I have three nephews, a niece, and two daughters. So I'm looking for something for them. You know, I'm always looking for them. And right here, I found some t-shirts. I think I'm gonna buy my daughters and my niece these that say Kerala India with the elephant, really nice. Uh, black, purple, green. And then for my nephew, the newborn, Charlie, I'm gonna get him this one, India Tuk Tuk Ferrari. The other two, they really want more like something soccer-ish, like jerseys, so I'm not gonna buy them something here, I'm gonna buy them something when I find it, like a jersey. 150, so it's 200 originally, so they're giving me a discount, 150 each, so total 600, that's something like nine, eight, nine US dollars. This is something I always do when I travel, I always buy gifts for my nieces, my nephews, and my kids. I mean, I just have to, you know, I'm always thinking about them, they're like, what keeps me so motivated. And yeah, I mean, on this store, you have lots of other things, cool elephants too. But I'm good with the elephants, dude, just as t-shirts. Those are fine. 600, perfect, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Got the gifts, let's keep going. This guy's super nice, he's from Kashmir. Super, super nice guy. Gave me a discount, and he has some amazing elephants there. Like, really, really nice. I would buy some, but I just, uh, I don't need more elephants. There are more spices here. If you want to buy spices and make your life more spiced up, you can buy them. <laughs> so I'm looking for this mask, right? The Kayagali mask. Hopefully they have it. That's not really a mask. It's more just a thing for your wall, but not really what I'm looking for. Let's see if they have it here. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh wow, they have a lot of stuff here. So basically they have a lot of different wood carvings, a lot of copper here as well, brass, right? It's all like brass work. Oh, no. And then over here they have the mask, but it's not really the mask. It's more just like a for your wall wall hanging, and it's a little expensive, four thousand five hundred. Over here they have mask, like Bhutanese mask for sure. That's Bhutan. I've seen pictures. I haven't been, but I'm going in March. They have a lot of cow stuff, right? Some of the cow mask. I think I'm good here. This place also has a lot of antique pieces. Oh my god, super tight to get out of here. Whoa, this Ganesha is amazing. Wow, what a beautiful Hello. Ganesha. And the Buddhas too. This elephant, this Ganesha is really, really nice. I mean, I'm sure it weighs, yeah, it weighs a lot. And all these masks are gonna be something like 50 US dollars, roughly, like 3,000, 4,000 around there. This is the oldest active synagogue in all the Commonwealth nations, a Jewish synagogue. Photographs are not permitted inside, so we cannot shoot inside. We can go inside, see everything, and come out. It's open Sunday to Thursday from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m., 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., and on Fridays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And yeah, let's go inside and see it. You should definitely visit the synagogue. It's the oldest active Jewish synagogue in the Commonwealth, built in 1568 by descendants of Spanish, Dutch, and European Jews. It only costs 10 rupees to enter, which is like something like, I don't know, seven or 10 cents. Definitely worth it. I highly suggest coming here when you come to Fort Kochi. Let's continue our tour. I'm getting hungry. Let's do it. So we found the mask I'm looking for. It's not really a mask, it's a wall piece. 2,000? 
That's the best. And what's that? That's like 30 US dollars. I'll take yeah. it. I'll take You're it. Detained. Yeah. You shake on it, right? You shake? <laughs> no. No, I leave. <laughs> 2,000, guys. Deal. A little under 30 US dollars. Thank you so much, sir. I got it. Yes. We explored the Jew town. We saw the synagogue, craft vendors. We saw some oils, spices. Now we're going for some lunch. I really want seafood. Hopefully, we can find some. Let's keep going. Okay, so we came back to the port area where the ferry is. And from here, we're gonna go to the fish market and buy some fish. And then from there, we're gonna go to a restaurant and cook it. Earlier today, it was pretty empty. Now this place is full of people. Let's see if we find a good fish. I'm thinking grouper. No, I'm grouper. Done. Whatever you want. Yeah, grouper. Grouper. So what Evan is doing is he's starting to negotiate, you know, per kilo, right? So you have to get like a quarter kilo, half kilo, full kilo. Or you can get some Sebring, some Red Snapper, some grouper, kingfish. Look at me. Yeah. We are going to take this Sebring. It costs around 280 rupees. The full fish. Yeah, There's a lot of flies because fish is smell. So we have the Sebring, 280, roughly, what is that, like 4 US dollars? Something like that? Pretty affordable. Yeah. yeah. Pretty affordable. And what we're doing now is we're crossing back. We're looking for a little restaurant and they're looking for us for a fee. And they also give us some size, I'm sure, right? It's not just sea brain, but they're gonna no, give us something else. Okay. Hey, Dan, I'm not the channel. Spicy, you know? Spicy, no? You like spicy? Spicy. So this restaurant we came to has like an open air concept. Little terrace, they also have like indoor, which is like still open air, but it's under a roof. Here we have some umbrellas, and we're cooking our fish right now. As you can see, the fish has masala, seabring on the grill, so grilled fish. We also got some prawn curry, some rice. I'm excited, I'm hungry, hungry, hungry. It's already like 1.30, it's been a walk for breakfast. It's really hot here in Fort Kochi. This is our mini feast. Grilled seabring, right here we have prawn roast, we have lentils, which is dal, and we have some rice, so I'll grab some rice. Mmm, nice and yummy dal. Can't wait to try this prawn roast. It's gonna be so good. Nice tomato paste sauce with some curry leaves. Fantastic. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna get the grilled sea brain. It just fell apart on me, so I'm just gonna try to like put it here. Oh wow, look at that. Such a big fish. We're gonna start with the sea brain. Just take off a piece, nice chunk, make sure there's no spines. Oh, I'm just gonna try it alone. Mmm. Wow. The flesh is so soft. And the masala, mmm, nice spices. It's not spicy at all. So there's no bones. You got the spinal cord. Go around, pull the flesh off. Almost like a cat does it. This is what I love about Southern Indian coast. You get delicious fish with masala. What a bargain. Let's go in and get the eyeball. Like that. A lot of people don't like it. Mm. The eyeball. It's a little tough. Wow, this fish is to die for. To die for, what a bargain, bro. What a bargain. We paid, what, 280 plus the, another, like 150 here. So roughly like six US dollars to have this delicious fish and eat it here at this restaurant. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rock the bone. Next up, get into the doll, mix it up with the rice. So you gotta blend it well. And then, what you do, once it's all blended, you go in here and you get a prawn. 
mixed together like that, just like that. So prawn roast with lentils and rice. Mm. Delicious masala with the prawns. Incredible doll. Love this combination. Wow. I really get blown away every single day in India. Like I eat, 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 and nothing's ever bad. Well, now I'm just gonna mix it all together. Prawn roast with delicious doll. This is such an incredible seafood feast in Torkochi. I mean, I could have gone with more stuff, but I think we're good with this. It's a lot of food. So that's our Fort Kochi experience. We started off this morning really early. We crossed over with the ferry, 10 minutes, and we made it here, went straight to the fisherman area. We saw the Chinese fishing nets. We saw the fish market. Then we went over and explored more of Kochi, which is basically like old colonial buildings, the cemetery, the church, the Jew town. I bought my, finally my mask for the wall, which is the Katagali. Katagali, I really wanted that because that is Kerala. That is the symbol of Kerala. Then after that, we came over here and we had a delicious Sebring. It was so good. Sebring with prawn roast, delicious food. I highly recommend doing this when you come over to Kerala. It's a must do for Kochi. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in incredible India. Peace.